Hello all, I am just here to put up the quick regression tutorial video. I am going to show you how to do regression with the actual homework. So the homework's right here, as you can see. In order to do regression, we need to, one, have interval ratio variables, like so. I'm just going to do it, you can do it on a minute, as many as you want, and I'll show you. I'll show you two examples. And for two, uh, it's, it's pretty easy actually. Just go to data analysis. Now interpreter is different. I'll show you how to interpret it too. But you know, it's pretty much the same as you're used to by now. Just go to regression in Excel on the data analysis tab, on the data tab. Hit OK. It's going to ask you for your dependent variable, which is your Y range. And it's going to ask you for your X range, which is your independent variable. Oops. So what we're going to do here, hit our dependent variable into the Y range. And our dependent variable is child abuse count. Well, it will, it, will, it will be child abuse rate, but we're going to do count because, well, it's here. And so make sure you tick labels and your confidence, in, confidence levels. And then your Y, your, your X range, which is your independent variables, we'll go with income. We'll actually do all three. We'll do medium income, population, let's do all three, okay? And then hit OK. Da, da, da. Looks like everything is good. Hit OK. Here's our output. All right, so here's what matters. Your R squared is your correlation to the whole model. It's heavily correlated. Regression, degrees of freedom, whatever. F statistic, yes. we do have a significance on F on the ANOVA model because it's negative. So that's good. And now let's take a look. Intercept is your coefficient. So we can mostly ignore this, so don't worry about that. That's for your dependent variable. And then we have these three. This is what matters. All right, first, nothing is significant. So it's all meaningless anyway. But let's look over here and, and, and look at the coefficients. Okay, what it says here, child abuse goes up for, oh, barely goes up, for every 0 .001 increase in the population. So like, one hundredth of person child abuse increases according to this. Child abuse increases as income decreases. Median income, see? But it's just barely. And there's a reason behind this because I haven't converted to uh, population per 100,000. And population of bachelors, uh, child abuse uh, decreases as, as, uh, as, uh, as education increases, or you can say it the other way around. So child abuse increases, income goes down. Child abuse, child abuse decreases, uh, uh, education goes up. So it's negative, so it goes in different directions. Um, and that's really it. That's all there is to it. You know, there's nothing to it but to do it. Um, and I would thank you very much for having the class.